Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm not in the hospital. Everyone thinks because the video I posted the other day, I'm in the hospital. I'm not in the hospital. That was a year and a half ago. But I do go and get a monthly iron infusion because my body does not hide from Toronto. Um, my body does not absorb iron. My body does not absorb iron. A lot of people don't. Hi, bye, bye. Um, hey, big move, Al. A lot of people don't absorb iron, and you're iron deficient, and you don't know it. Okay. Um, they tried giving me the pills. They tried giving me the liquid, and my levels didn't change. So, hi, Sicilian Killian. Killian, Killian. So, um, I have to come and get the IV, which is not pleasant, but that app. Okay, so, but this is the so, um, yeah, so here this is like my reality of program. having and then, anemia and I'm um, okay. on blood thinners the rest of my life. I'm on blood, I have blood clot, yeah. but, um, I'm fine. It could be worse, okay? Um, thank you, but this is a lifetime of, uh, no, I'm the, you don't got to put the praying hands and all that. It's fine. I appreciate it, but I'm fine. I'm iron deficient. It's not cancer. I'm okay. Thank you. Thank God. God forbid. Thank you. Hey, buddy, good music. Hi, Tony. Don't you don't got to do the prayer hands. I'm dying. It's an iron infusion. I'm going to eat after this. It's an iron infusion because my body doesn't absorb iron. I'm anemic. Hello. Stop with the prayer hands. I'm going to sign off. I can't take it. <laughs> Trust me. I'm just on here because I'm bored. Thank you, Cecilia Killen. Thank you. I'm okay. I wouldn't be on here if it was all that. Like, I'd be uh, suffering and shit. I wouldn't be on here live. So, yeah. I'm just bored. Come on. I act like I got the mask on. So I'm on here. I'm thinking I want Peruvian. What do I want? I went to that bar taco last time I was here. It was okay. But I like to, when I'm in a different area, I like to try different restaurants. So, no, I thank you. I appreciate it. I love it. I thank you. I appreciate the love. But, you know, I don't want you to think it's more serious than what it is. It's just an iron infusion. So, um, I come once a month. It used to be once a week. Thank you. So, you know, listen, one thing about me, I stay on top of my health. Okay, um, I don't play when it comes to my health. Never have. Because if it's not, who nobody's going to take care of you more than you're going to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to make sure that you look out for yourself and your health and get checkups and, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah, it's, you know. I'm not hospitalized, none of that. I'm okay. Um, so anyway, let's change the subject from my iron. It's just an iron infusion. Thank you. Right? Once that little bag up there is gone, then I get to leave. But it goes into your body um, intravenously because we've tried everything else, like I said. Thank you. You like the eyebrows? I need to get a touch-up. I am Sumo. Um, it's Brow House Studio at Brow House Studio. Excellent. The best brows ever. Look at that. Microblading. What's on my schedule today? Tanning, eating, nails. I'm going to go get my nails done. I'm going tanning, which is bad for your skin, but I can't be all... I need my little glow. Um... Being all pale and pasty and ugh, the winter time, I gotta look like glowing. Um, nails. I don't know what color I want to get my nails. Such life problems, right? Let's see. I'm gonna go eat. I might go to Trader Joe's. Yes. So. Ugh. 
For real. Yeah, like, and, you know, just, um, I started back at yoga yesterday. I'm going back tomorrow again. Today, and then I'm going to go home and do some work. Yo, I swear to God, I was thinking about a blue color, too. A bluish color, yeah. Like the baby blue, yes. Yes, you used to paint your dog's nails. I know, me too. Marge Tiffany hates it. They won't stay still. Is it? Is it going? Is it going in? I know. No, I don't want to stop. I know. Hold on, I'll be back, guys. I'm like, wait a minute. Stay like that. Okay. Hold on, let me show Because one is going to go faster than the other because they're like competing. Oh, they're competing. Yes. Okay, now we had to get the drip. No, these aren't the posh marks. These I had before then. Yeah, these I had. I need to put some new stuff on. I have over a thousand items I need to put on my Poshmark. I have not had time. Like, I need to get down to listing stuff. So. Yeah. See the drip? Drip, drip, drip. Oh, thank you, Cecilia and Killian. Um, Killian? I always say Killian. Then. Yeah, so, um. Hi. Dr. Weiss, I forgot to ask you, when is your surgery? The 23rd. The 23rd, and do you, uh, are you still, do you, did you have the Luvinox? Yes. Yes, you still have it, right? Yep, I haven't touched it. Yep, okay. Thank you. Mm hmm Hi. One down. One down. I haven't even put nothing up, Cecilia and Killen. Wait till you see what I put up. I haven't even put anything up. And we we're doing the web, what's it, at um, Chrissy Monroe, or Chrissy's Closet, I think. What is the posture? Is it Chrissy's Closet? I'm an ambassador. Ooh, double. The, they just gave me to a level two with the gold star. Ooh. I'm a fast shipper. Um, I might do an actual closet. Yeah, I've done it twice. Nyla Hollywood, two times, and an endoscopy on the upper abdomen. <laughs> no, I'm not. I might, no, I'm not going through menopause. <laughs> oh, bye. <laughs> The questions I get asked on Instagram Live. Hi, Kenneth. What's up, Kenneth? Look, upstairs Kenny's on the gram. Kenny's on the Instagram, everyone. Upstairs Kenny. Um, that was a whammy of a question. Girl, I can't. No, my, that's not, a, but you know what? That's not an off the wall question. I mean, I'm at the age, but no, I'm not at menopause yet. No. Don't listen. Go to different doctors. Don't just listen to what one doctor says. Because when I had the fibroids, and they, the one doctor told me, oh, she's a very hardcore Asian woman. She said, oh, you need hysterectomy. I said, hey, no, but you ain't taking out my uterus. That's, that's extreme. So I had the embolization, the fibroid embolization done last summer, and it was life-changing. It was very, very minimally invasive. Um... What are you doing, Kenneth? I need Kenny to take my laundry in the house when I get home. Um, no, nah, I could carry it. It's not even heavy. Um, what did I drink? I don't remember. I think, I don't know. I was in the hospital when I had the last one, so they gave me whatever. Because they have to monitor me because I'm on the blood thinners. So I did the colonoscopy and endoscopy and the fibroid embolization last June or July. I was in the hospital for eight days. So I, they had to take me off the blood thinners for three days before they did any surgeries. 
So they put me on as inpatient to monitor me before the surgeries. Then they put me back on and monitor me after the surgeries. And they let me go home. And let me tell you, it was hot in that hospital. And then, oh, I can't, I don't even want to talk down on Montefiore. Kenny, I'm getting an iron infusion. What do you mean you hope all goes well? <laughs> it's an iron infusion, dude. Um, I'm going to need Kenny's help and little Michelle to help me after I do my next surgery. But I'm not saying what that is yet. My eyebrows are the shit. Look at that. I don't have any makeup on at all. Look at that. She's the queen. Tati is the queen of eyebrows. She's the, just the queen of brow. Microblading. I'm telling you. It makes a difference going somewhere good than somewhere where they don't know what they're doing. Because you don't want to mess your face up. Your brows make your face. Am I wrong? Can you do that with your nose? No. Me and my sister, God rest her soul, we used to call it horse nostrils. We used to just sit there and go like this. Thank you. So yeah, at Brow House Studio is my brow expert. I will never let anyone ever touch my brows besides Tati. Yeah. I should take a nap. So I've been listening to a lot of these inspirational YouTube videos lately. I've been learning a lot. Like, I heard something so profound this morning. I have to really like rewrite it. I'm going to have to take it and write it down. It said something about sometimes people will see something in you that they admire and they want to emulate or copy it. So then they start acting out of character and posting things, seeking the attention that you get because they crave that attention that you get naturally so they start said something like they start acting fake high success clothing they start acting fake and out of character for social media and in real life but it doesn't come off the same way as it comes off for you because it's natural for you and they can only keep up that fake facade for so long because it's not authentic then they get mad at you because they don't get the same results that you got and just for being who you are because they're not you. It was deep. I got I think it was Steve Harvey or somebody saying this or Joel Osteen. It was one of those inspirational, motivational compilation videos on fake YouTube. But I really gotta like and he said it so like matter of fact and like it wasn't as long as I just said. But he said it where it made a lot of sense, like that's where the hate comes from. It's really love. They love they love you and what you're doing. Yeah. And they love the results you get from being your authentic self. But they don't get that because they're being fake. Does that make sense? So they copy you and they try to do everything you're doing. But it doesn't. It's not you. So people take you as a fraud. So it's usually the the negative and the 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 uh, opposite reaction of what they're seeking, which is that validation and that attention. But it ain't working. So they get real mad at you when you ain't did nothing but be yourself. You mad at me for being me? That's the hate. Is that love? Is that hate? They want to be noticed. They want that that that. They want that love. You know what I'm saying? They'll do anything to get it. They'll, they'll entertain like a clown on social media. It's bad, man. Social media is bad. The 
They'll start doing real stupid clowny shit for attention and react. So. Don't be mad at my point is don't be mad at me for being me. And you know don't just don't don't be mad at me for being me. Period. So does that make sense? But they do. Hi, Remy TV. Yes, I love Remy TV. Yes. So my point is, be yourself. And stop doing dumb shit on social media to get attention. Because it doesn't come off good. It comes off very weird and fake. It gets cute for kids to do these little videos and stuff like that. Like certain stuff, I just ain't doing. I'm not going to be doing TikTok dances and shit like that. I'm just not. It's not me. I'm not a dancer. I don't need to do a challenge. You're welcome. Have a good day. What's the prize? Attention? It's a bag. It's a bag. Views? Ooh. Listen, I get paid for a lot of stuff. I monetize a lot of stuff. But I'm not going to start doing dumb shit that's out of my character for attention. Am I free to talk? Do I look free to talk? No, I'm not being rude. Barely holding the phone with one hand. Look, I hope it don't drop it. <clears throat> so my thing is, I just start avoiding people. Once I start being, like, like um, stalked or pressured, like, I just cut off a girl I knew for five years last week because she started acting real funky and throwing little jabs and making little comments and that competition shit. I said, this is a wrap. You're blocked. Then you can't even block people because then they get hysterical because they feel dismissed. Um, um, they feel dismissed, so then they become obsessive with getting your attention back in a negative way. They start making fake pages, stalking you. Yes, Remy. Um, no, I'm good. I'm just getting my iron infusion. This is nothing. I'm not in the hospital. This is just, I come here once a month. So, um, like you can't even cut somebody off nowadays without them like going full crazy. And I've experienced this a few times. Like, can't we just be the adults? We don't gotta be friends. We don't get along. You're not a bad person. I'm not a bad person. But I don't choose to fuck with you. You don't choose to fuck with me. Whatever. Why do you feel like you gotta stalk and harass me and talk bad about me to other people? They're still gonna fuck with me. No matter what you say, they still wanna deal with me. Because I haven't changed. I'm still me. You make yourself look crazy by going around bad mouthing me or anybody else. You look like the, the weirdo. Because guess what? If you're talking about me to other people, they know you're going to talk about them to other people, dummy. So, people need to learn how to let shit go, let people go. I'm very to myself. Hi, Gemini. Gemini, Destiny. Destiny, hey. I'm very by myself, and it's for a reason. Everybody shouldn't be privy to my personality. I'm cool as shit. I'm loving, I'm kind, I'm funny. I feel like it's a privilege to spend time with me and to be around me and, and have that access to me. And once I see the shadiness in you, the hater in you, the jealousy in your heart, the envy in your heart and spirit, we can't be friends anymore. And that goes for men and women. Once I peep it, I'm like, isn't it just a hater? Disappointing, yes. Surprise, probably not. But now we can't be friends anymore because now I can't trust you. You want my life. You may not exactly don't want my life, but you want the benefits that you think come with it, but you don't want to be there for this kind of stuff. Like my life is like real. Like I have blood clots, I'm on blood thinners the rest of my life. Like nobody here with me. Nobody wanted to volunteer to come sit with me today at the hospital, but they want to come when I'm doing some red carpet or VIP shit. They blowing up my phone. 
So I take all of that into consideration when I'm doing fly shit of who's really around when I'm doing shit like this. Dawn, Jatan, even Alicia came to pick me up from the hospital. Like, I see who's really there for me. They're there for me. You know what I'm saying? They go out of their way to be there for me. Those are real friends. They don't ask me for nothing. Oh, thank you, Remy. But you know, it's hard. It's lonely being smart and assertive because you do want companionship. You want people around, but you can't just, for the sake of having people around, you got to see their character and what they really are about. Because you're not going to come into my life and do anything. Anything, small, medium, or big, what the fuck what I got. Period. A lot of people just want to come around to get in your business, to see who you're messing with, anything. They just want to get around just to try to infiltrate and fuck your shit up. And other people will fuck your shit up more than you ever will. You better watch who you got around you and why they're around you. Why? What purpose do they have in your life? Does their company? They're, they're cool? They're funny? I'm cool and funny. I could sit here all day and tell myself jokes. Without somebody being in my business. So, I'm leery. Once I see some weird old shit, I, cut, I can't. Any kind of competitive nature or you instigating and starting shit, I can't. Stalk me all you want. Stalker. She's probably watching this now, this other one. And I nicely do it. I don't want to sit down. I don't cuss you out. On I just cut you off. Period. And it's not. I like meeting new people. I like personalities. I like, you know, things. But everybody can't come around. Everybody can't come around. And it's just what it is. And I'm okay with that. Hi, Pocahontas. Listen. Hi, Corey. I love Corey Woods. Yes, Corey, I'm getting my iron infusion. What are you doing today? I'm about to eat lunch after this. And then I'm going to go get my nails done. I think I'm going to do baby blue. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to copy that. Um, I'm going to rewrite it, what I heard on that uh, YouTube video today. It was so, like I said, so profound and so on point about why people do what they do as far as, yes, Corey, I love Corey. Yes, Remy. Remy said, I learned a lot from you. People were only around to use her. It's true. But she's doing her thing. She's a young woman. Got her own um, blog, TV, podcast, you know, everything. Thank you. You love the earrings. Um, and they, but all that comes hate because guess what? They hate, oh, they also hate you when you have the courage to go out and do the things that they really want to do, but they don't have the guts to risk their money, to quit their job, to go do it, to do whatever it takes to go out and get it like you do. So they want to try to mess you up and be a speed bump on your road to success and block you so they can say, see, I told you you wasn't going to make it. You you are a failure. You're going to fail. Look at the Kanye documentary. When his boy, his own boy went on bad mouth on him. Look, where's, his, where's that dude at now? In the part one. Right? His boy went on the radio talking shit about him. And his other friend said, I, yo, I already warned him what's coming. This is coming. It's part of, part of it. Be, be ready because the hate is real. And it comes from people that are close to you because who you expect it to really come from? Who you expect it coming from? People that really don't know you? They don't really got no reason not to like you if they don't really know you. It's the people that are close to you who feel like they're going to get left behind because you're moving to another level. And they feel like, wow, I'm not living up to my expectations. But Kanye is, and he's going to leave me behind in Chicago. Damn, I need to get my shit together. So let me try to fucking slow Kanye down and talk shit about Kanye. It didn't stop nothing, as you can see. 
and I say this all the time, y'all oh, bitches, y'all bitter exes can keep my name in your mouth for years, years, restraining orders, all that, you still keep talking, because I still got restraining orders on I, 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 okay, keep my name in your mouth, you're not stopping anything, you never will, you just mad, because you got left behind, mad, left behind. Okay. I have instructions here for you for okay. the Loganovs and the Eloquence. Okay. Um, do you want Dr. Weiss to fax over his notes?